Hi, I'm Major General Mike Garrett, Commanding General, United States Army, Alaska. And I'm Sergeant Major Bernie Knight, USRAC's Command Sergeant Major. And we'd like to welcome you to the Non-Commissioned Officers Academy. My father retired from the Army with 35 years of service to our nation, 20 of those as a Command Sergeant Major. He was the finest soldier I've ever known, and he taught me what I should expect from non-commissioned officers. Soldiers should be able to look at an NCO and know what the standard is. The sergeant shouldn't even have to say a word. The troops just watch his actions and know. The biggest difference between our Army and any other in the world is our non-commissioned officers. The NCO Corps is truly the backbone of our Army. America is able to field the most powerful fighting force ever in the history of the planet because of you, our non-commissioned officers. The bedrock of any effective military unit is leadership, standards, and discipline. These are what we expect from each of you and should be the focus of everything we as leaders do. Effective leadership is based in our shared ideas, the character of any Arctic tough leader, the core of who we truly are, must be in harmony with the warrior ethos and Army values. Leadership based on loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage is what we owe those we serve, our soldiers and everyone who has ever fought and died wearing this uniform. We expect each of you to be involved and committed leaders who know and enforce the standards. Leaders do not ignore deficiencies. If you don't make the on-the-spot correction when you see someone failing to meet the standard, then you just accepted that deficiency as your new standard. If you don't correct soldiers for things like not going to parade rest, saluting officers, or honoring the flag, then not observing military customs and courtesies just became your standard, Sergeant. These are the kinds of things you have to think about. Practicing discipline trains us to be obedient, loyal, and respectful, while instilling in us the will to win. Discipline is the inner strength to do what is right and to carry out orders to the very best of your ability. It can be applied to any aspect of your service and in any situation. You show discipline when you push yourself during physical training and when you take pride in wearing the uniform correctly. Being a disciplined leader means you take responsibility for your actions and don't make excuses when you make mistakes. Discipline is enforcing the standards and working every day to become a better leader. We have provided you the absolute best non-commissioned officers in USARAC as your instructors. I meet with the Academy leadership every quarter to discuss where they are as an organization and to get an accounting of whether they are meeting my intent for your professional education. Pay attention to your instructors. Watch their actions and recognize what you can learn by following their examples. They are providing you the very best training the Army has to offer. It is your responsibility to buckle down, be attentive, and focus on your training. Use your time at the Academy to reflect on how you can grow as a leader and as a professional. One of our objectives for the Non-Commissioned Officer Academy is to develop leaders who offer purpose, direction, and motivation to those they lead. As our soldiers are mentored and taught by your example, they will mature into the leaders of tomorrow. They will then take their accumulated knowledge, skills, and experience to follow on assignments in other commands. These soldiers turn leaders will help influence and develop the rest of the Army and affect what our institution will become. Every day we try and give you all our very best effort. That's all we ask of you, that every day you give your best effort to the Army and those you lead. You are all doing a tremendous job and make us proud to be part of this great team. We challenge you to continue training hard and leading from the front. With your help, we'll make United States Army Alaska the finest command in our Army. Arctic Warriors. Arctic Tough. In the end, what I want